In question four, the problem statement says that the taxi fare in a city is as follows. For the first kilometer, the fare is rupees eight, and for the subsequent distance, it is rupees five per kilometer. So for the first kilometer, we have to pay rupees eight, and for every subsequent kilometer, it the charge is rupees five per kilometer. Taking the distance covered as x kilometer, and the total fare as rupees y. write a linear equation for this information and draw its graph so basically the total distance covered is x kilometers and the total fare is rupees y so we have to write an equation which relates y with x it will be a linear equation in these two variables and then we have to draw its graph now suppose that i represent the journey of the taxi using this visual model that i've drawn it shows a journey of a total of x kilometers now the first kilometer so let's represent um the first kilometer by using this marker and then the remaining journey will be x minus 1 kilometers like this so for the first kilometer the fare will be rupees 8 and for the remaining distance which is x minus 1 kilometers the fare will be uh, rupees 5 per kilometer or rupees 5 into x minus 1 so basically we have taken the fare per kilometer and multiplied it by the number of kilometers so once again for the first kilometer the fare is rupees 8 and for the remaining x minus 1 kilometers the fare is rupees 5 times x, uh, x minus 1 so the total fare will be rupees 8 for the first kilometer plus rupees 5 times x minus 1 for the uh, remaining x minus 1 kilometers so this will be rupees 8 plus rupees 5x minus 5 so if we combine 8 and 5x minus 5 we will get rupees 5x plus 3 so this is the total fare but we also know that the total fare we have to represent as rupees y so this must be equal to rupees y and from here we get an equation that relates x and y we get y equal to 5x plus 3 and this equation is basically the equation two variable linear equation that relates the variables x and y so that completes part of the question where we had to write a linear equation for this information now we have to draw its graph so we have to draw the graph of y equal to 5x plus 3 so let's do that so this is the graph i will use to plot our equation the horizontal axis represents x which is the distance in kilometers and so let's write the units also x represents distance in kilometers and the vertical axis represents y which is the fare in uh, rupees the equation we have to plot is y equal to 5x plus 3 and we basically have to find two solutions of this equation and plot those two solutions and draw the line through them so to plot uh, to find two solutions we just give two specific values to any variable so for example let's give the value x equal to 0 this will give us y equal to 5 times 0 plus 3 or y is equal to 3 so 0 comma 3 will be one solution of uh, this equation now let's take x equal to 1 and this will give us y equal to 5 times 1 plus 3 or y equal to 8 so 1 comma 8 is another possible solution of the equation let's write these two solutions that we have found in the form of an xy table all right um so this is the table where we'll write the solutions the first solution we obtained was 0 comma 3 so x equal to 0 y equal to 3 the second solution we obtained was 1 comma 8 so x equal to 1 and y equal to 8 now let's plot these two solutions 0 comma 3 is this point here 0 comma 3 on the y axis and then 1 comma 8 is this point here 1 comma 8 um and now we just need to draw the line through these uh two points and this is the line that we will get if we do that so this line represents the graph 
or gives the graph of the equation y equal to 5x plus 3 and with this we have completed question 4. Now there is one important remark that I want to make before closing this problem. The thing is that x in this case represents distance. So it cannot be a negative quantity. However, the graph that we have drawn, it also extends to the um, left of the y axis. So it also has a part for negative x, x values. So this part, if you look at this part to the left of the y axis, uh, it corresponds to negative x values. But the part of the graph that will represent real or valid information about the journey will only be the part to the right of the y-axis which is um, let me highlight this part so if you take this part this is the part that will represent real or valid information about the journey uh, because it it is uh, this part of the graph corresponds to positive x values and x can only be positive in this particular scenario because x represents distance to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.